All right, greetings. This is Grandfather. Now, a little instruction today. Some of you have noticed in the books, especially the Shamanic Secrets series, different hand positions that help to do this or that, accentuate this or that, make connections with this or that, and so on. I want to give you one, perhaps two, today that will help you as well. And also one bonus one, for which I will give you right now. You would extend your arm full out in front of you, and you would do this essentially with your hand. I'm going to move the hand around a little bit here, but uh, you don't have to do that. This is just so that we can be somewhat sure that the camera will catch it. Just extend your hand out and do this. All right? Just sort of this motion. All right? Now, this is how you would use that. If you were in a place where there is water, and water beings native to the water, fish, you understand, or other beings who might be native to the water, but not necessarily human beings. If you wish to encourage them to multiply and be of great numbers for whatever reason, all right, then you can make that gesture. But there is something you must do first. You must be in the most spiritual state of being you can be. If you are angry or upset, it not only won't work, but it will have the opposite effect. So make sure that you're on a natural level, just happen to be feeling good. All right? Then, you make the gesture towards the body of water. Not towards the shallows, but towards the deeper water, as far as you know. All right? And uh, you might say this as well, while you are making the gesture or just before. You might say, I am asking that the populations of water beings grow now in the most benevolent way. That's all. That's your bonus. Now there's a little more. These gestures are intended to be universal. They go beyond language. When you make the statement, the statement is to reassure your mind, all right, your head, that what you are doing is in alignment with what you desire to be the case. Now, you will not be able to be specific, all right, with that gesture. You won't be able to say, I want this population to increase, say salmon, for instance. It will be everybody and everything or nothing. Okay? Know that at these times, water life, generally speaking, and especially in the oceans, they feel that their life is not going to go on here much longer. I'm not just talking about individuals. I'm talking about succeeding generations. And that's not just because of pollution or radiation. It's because they feel that their time here, which was intended to be supporting you, human beings, is no longer needed. That you have available to you the knowledge and wisdom that you can use to transform this planet into something that is more benevolent for you and for all beings. That's why this teaching is going on here. It is about magic, we say, but magic is just a word to help you to understand that things can change without any apparent effort to build 
create, take things out of the ground, cut down trees, none of that. Things can change simply because it is benevolent for all beings for that change to take place. So we're calling it magic, but in fact, it is the type of transformation that takes place all over the universe when things would be more benevolent for all beings for that change to take place. That alone suggests progress here for human beings on Earth. I know it's hard for you to imagine that there's progress being made, but it is. And uh, don't worry excessively. Right now it's the time of transformation, and sometimes people find it difficult to move, to transform themselves, and to be okay, comfortable, with the transformation of others. That's why on any given day, you might feel strongly about something and within a day or two feel strongly differently. All right? Your change, your mind, and your feelings will support that change. Not just because somebody has talked you into feeling different, but just by the observation and the noticing by your mind, your conscious thoughts, that your physical body feels distinctly uncomfortable when you say something that you've always believed to be true for you. If you catch that happening, if you can, then say things that are different. Try to say something different, and if your physical body relaxes, it might be that your physical body, you see, is teaching you. That is often the case, not always. So you'll have to experiment with it so you can try to get it right. This is part of the reason that the animals are leaving, because your physical bodies are now able to teach you on the basis of physical evidence. How do you feel when you say that? Does it feel good, or do you feel upset? Do you feel agitated? Sometimes you can get confused if you feel excited because the feeling of excitement disguises a great many other feelings that are true for you. So you may have to wait for a calmer moment and practice when excitement is not present. Now, I want to move on to another gesture. This gesture is like this, all right? I'm going to turn the hands around. You'll have to try and catch what that gesture is. This is the gesture, all right? It starts out like this with your arms no, say your elbows just a little bit lower than your shoulders, or at the same height, maybe, but a little bit lower is better. All right, then your elbows bent, quite obviously. Then, uh, see, then we're going to do this. All right, sliding the fingers together, we're going to do this. All right, I hope you can see that. Again, do not move your hands around like this. I'm just doing this in hopes that it will come out well on the camera. Now, once you've slid your hands together, then this is something you can say. I am asking now that the souls of all human beings merge completely with the physical form of all human beings while we are awake and doing our lives, and even more so while we are asleep, resting our thoughts and our life. Just like that. All right. This is to encourage the support of the soul self that portion of you that is immortal, that goes on from life to life, to merge more with your physical body because your soul self has knowledge and wisdom that is very much in concordance, all right? Meaning it uh, gets along very well 
with your body's knowledge and wisdom, and it will allow you to understand much better what your body is trying to teach you about what is true now for you. And uh, it's not about what's not true. It's not going to teach you what's not true. It's going to teach you about what is true. You don't need to know what isn't true. So don't bother asking about that. You can just say something like this. Is it true for me now? All right. In time, you can do this. See, is it true for me now to uh, be working at this job that it will be a good thing for me? Something like that. You don't have to be fancy in your words. You can keep it simple. But start out with, is it true for me now to, and then finish it. All right. Try to keep it brief and not complicated. You won't have to make explanations, all right, because your soul and your body will know. So keep it simple. And then notice how you feel in your physical body. All right, you feel good. Some of you will feel a warmth if it's true for you now. And uh, others will feel discomfort. If you feel discomfort, you know that it may not be true for you now, but that does not mean that it's false. It may be that you need to rephrase the question, all right, say it in a different way, and do it at a different time. Don't just wait five minutes. If you can, wait at least a day. If you can't, wait at least six hours. And try it again. Now I want to give you one more that you can use. The gesture is important. All right, then this is the gesture. All right, I'm going to move the hand around so you can try to see it. Remember, the motion, all right, the motion is entirely about allowing you to see the position. It's not something you can have to do. All right, so this is the position, all right. You can extend your arm all the way out in front of you, or you can hold your hand in this position at any point that is, say, even with your neck, all the way down to being even with your belly button. All right? So, thumb on the fourth finger, see, like that. This is what it's for. This is a very loving gesture, and it has to do with the transformation of disease and discomfort. But it isn't personal to you. It is for everyone. So, these are the words you would say before, during, or after, any time you wish to do it. But if it's after you've stopped making the gesture, you will have to say it immediately after, or you will have to... Do it again another time. And keep in mind that these things that you are doing, all right, you do them once only. This is not the sort of thing that you do over and over and over and over and over again. If you do it more than once, it won't work quite as good as having done it once. If you do it say, three or four times, it will work about 10% as good as having have it done it once. You get the idea, see? Once only. With the words exactly as I have said them. All right. I know for some of you it will be difficult because English is not your first language. But do the best you can. All right. Now... These are the words that you would say. I'd recommend that you say it right before you do the gesture. But you can say it while you're doing the gesture. And as I said, if you say it afterwards, you'll have to say it within a few seconds of having stopped doing the gesture. This is what you say. I'm asking that all illnesses 
discomforts and hurts that people have on this planet all be transformed now in the most benevolent way for all peoples. All right? That's how you do it. It's important to share these things with you because there will be times when we won't be able to put out these videos once a week as we have done before. And this year there will be a considerable change in the videos. Most likely this will be the last year for once a week videos. We will still put them out if there are urgent situations that need to be addressed. But the weekly videos will stop at some point during this year. There will still be videos for private students from time to time. But I felt it's important for you to know this. We've put up videos here on YouTube and uh, put them other places and some of you have put them other places too and that's fine. We have done this for a long time and it is now at the point where we're getting to, how can we say, material that's so advanced that it can only be taught to people who are dedicated on their spiritual pathways and uh, really cannot uh, be persuaded off of them in any nice way anyway. <laughs> so I'm not saying that the work is too advanced for you. What I'm saying is that there comes a point when we can only put out so many things. There is a lot of advanced work in these videos, to say nothing of what's in the books or the blogs. You know that. But um, we're at the point where we're going to have to make it to either a small subscription to students only or let you study and practice what's on here. There are other teachers on the internet and certainly those you can go to in person. But we will be here from week to week for a while yet. Good life to you all.